I don't know how many times I stopped this video and restarted. It's just because I'm saying too much. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Vilma. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video. So this video has been on my mind for quite some time and I wanted to share my goals, purposes or purpose and intentions for 2023. One of them being I want to really focus in maximizing my wardrobe. 2022 was a year that I feel like I've really curated my wardrobe to the point that not only I have found my personal style and the things that make me feel comfortable. I have been really, really happy with everything that I bought. Everything is so cohesive in a way that I don't feel like I need to buy something new every time there is an event or there is a particular special occasion that's happening in my life. I feel like I can just go through the pieces that I have in my wardrobe and find something that will be suitable for any occasion. So although I'm talking about maximizing my wardrobe, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to buy anything in 2023. I have actually created a wish list and I've also created a budget. So I want to embark this year on a low buy and I want to make sure that I really, really stick to that because as I said, I want to maximize, but I also don't want to stop myself from having that pleasure of adding something new to my wardrobe because it wouldn't be realistic to myself, to my lifestyle, and also my job here on YouTube. I am going to set myself a budget, let's say for example, a hundred pounds per month. And if I don't purchase anything a particular month, let's just say January, those 100 pounds will roll over to the next month. So instead of having only a hundred pounds in February, I'm going to have 200 pounds to purchase something. So that is kind of like my trail of thought when it comes to budgeting and my low buy for the year of 2023. So then I stick to my wardrobe maximization and my low buy goal for 2023, I created a wish list. And in that wish list, I have six items that I want to purchase. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to purchase all of them at once or all of them in 2023. I may not find the exact items that I want, but I want to really stick to this list so that I don't steer away and start doing impulsive buying, which I'm very guilty of, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you can relate to that. Impulsive buying can be terrible, or sometimes you can actually find the most amazing item for your wardrobe that if you didn't have that impulsiveness to buy it, you would miss on a great opportunity. So I have my computer here so I can show you the things that I'm adding to my wish list or that I've added to my wish list now. And I'm going to start with these trousers from Cause. They are called the Relaxed Fit Tailored Trousers. They retail for 99 pounds and they're made of Eco Vero. Now I have been eyeing these trousers for the longest. I already have the waistcoat, which is right here, and I bought it secondhand. I don't even think they have it on the website anymore, but I absolutely love sets. And I feel like the waistcoat and the trousers are going to be something that I'm going to gravitate towards a lot, especially spring, summer. And spring is not that far away. I was waiting for these trousers to go on sale, but they didn't go on sale. So I think I'm going to now order them because I really love the relaxed look of them and the feel of the fabric is insane. So I am really, really excited to add this to my wardrobe. Like I said, I love sets and I feel like this is going to add a lot of value to my wardrobe moving into spring and summer. Okay, so item number two on my wish list. I'm going to cheat a little bit because this item actually comes in two different shades, but I'm not sure if I want both of them or just one. So this is the Cause Oversized Wasted Poplin Shirt. 
shirt. It retails for 69 pounds. It's a mix of cotton, polyamide, and elastane. And I love the fact that it's supposed to cinch you in at the waist. So it's not going to be super tight, but it's going to give you that nice feminine silhouette. And I really love this cut. I have at least two items from Cause already that are in similar cuts. Like I have a cardigan and I also have a poplin dress that I bought in the sales. If you guys have seen that video, you know exactly which dress I'm talking about because a lot of you have bought it. I noticed that my link was being used. So thank you so much for that. So I'm thinking about buying this one in the blue tone, but I also like the white. Two neutral shades that I think would add so much value to my wardrobe. And I think this would look amazing with some trousers that I already have from Cause that I bought not too long ago. But in the spring and summer, I think it's nice to have smart things that have a little bit of a twist, like a little bit of an edge. And I think that this shirt has that edge that I really like. It's feminine, borderline still having that elevated masculine look to it because it's still a shirt. So I think this is going to be an easy one for me, but also difficult at the same time because I don't know which tone to get. This is definitely on my wish list and I cannot wait to try it on. Okay, so item number three on my wish list is a tote bag. I've been eyeing the tote bags from Paul and Paris. As you guys already know, I really love this brand. I think the price point is okay for an entry level designer bag and they feel very, very luxe. So the bag that I'm actually thinking of adding to my wardrobe is the Cime bag. I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing this properly, but I believe it's a Cime. Now, a lot of the tone are currently out of stock and I feel like it's because they're not tones that you would wear now in the winter but the one that I'm looking at getting is either the taupe in the large size or the camel tone I feel like these two tones work really well with my wardrobe I think that the bag looks very very beautiful I love the smaller handle and I also like the fact that it has longer straps as well it's not a very structured bag but I feel like that is really nice because then the back kind of like molds to your body kind of or at least underneath your arm and I think it's a really nice simple very kind of like unique type of shape this is a bag that I'm actually eyeing it retails for 330 pounds which I think it's actually a great price Okay guys, so I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I lost some footage and I'm going to do a quick voiceover for the fourth item on my wish list for 2023. So I'm on the hunt since the beginning of 2022 for a pair of slingback shoes. And I want something that is quite inspired by the Chanel shoes because those are my dream slingback shoes, but I can't justify at this present moment spending almost a thousand pounds on those shoes. Shoes. So the first ones that I found are in net -a -Porte. They are from a brand called Aide. I think that's how you pronounce it. These shoes are made of 100% Italian leather. They retail for 245 pounds and I really, really like them. I love the design. I love the fact that they're a little bit square at the front and the black and the beige looks really nice both ways. As you can see, I'm showing you the second tone. However, because I don't really know this brand all that much, I wanted to continue looking and I came across a pair of shoes in Cezanne that I fell in love with. Now, these shoes, that I'm talking about are called the Paula Babies. They are very, very different from anything I would ever think about buying, but I feel like these ones have a little bit more of an edge. They have the sling back, they have these two straps at the front, and they come in this beautiful rosy beige tone and the price is a lot cheaper than the ones that I mentioned before. So I really love Suzanne shoes and I feel like I really want to try these. They come in three different tones at the moment. So they have these ones over here with a little bit of texture. They also have these ones in brown, but I feel like I'm going to order the beige ones because they are the perfect spring summer shoe. And yeah, I really love them. Let me know in the comments below if you own the shoes and what you think about them. But thus far, I feel like these are going to be the ones. So fifth on my wish list has to be a gold bracelet from Portugal. And for those of you who are totally new to my channel, 
I'm Portuguese. Olá a todos, bem-vindos ao meu canal. And I love, love, love Portuguese gold. Every year I go, I always go to the jewelry shops to see what they have. I find that the jewelry is very simple, just kind of like my street, what I like to wear. For example, the rings that I have here on my finger are my parents' wedding rings from 1986, not tarnished. They look exactly the same as the hoops that I'm wearing that I bought this year or the past summer when I was in Portugal. And this is from 86, which is crazy. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna go for a very simple bracelet or something along the lines like the one that I'm wearing here from Majuri, which is very feminine, very pretty. Of course, I'm giving you guys a close up so you can see what I'm talking about because I'm quite far from the camera. But I really love gold jewelry from Portugal. I love the quality. Value for money is insane because how much I would pay for a solid gold bracelet in Portugal is around the same price I would pay here for a gold plated bracelet, any other brand that you have here in the UK. So ease of mind, you can shower, you can work out and it never tarnishes. So that is definitely at the top of my list to buy if I go to Portugal this year. So the sixth and last item for my wish list of 2023 are a pair of Birkenstocks Arizona, more specifically in the suede taupe shade. I have had these on my wish list for quite some time. I already have a pair of this particular style in black and leather, and I love them, I wear them a lot, and I feel as if this is going to be something that I know I'm gonna reach for so much. I love suede and the taupe shade is so beautiful. I think it's going to complement a lot of my outfits, especially spring and summer where we wear lighter tones, lighter denim, whites, baby blues, and things like that. I think that the, the taupe shade is going to be very complimentary to those tones and i just love birkenstocks they're super comfortable they're kind of like that edgy type of footwear that anyone can wear and they're super comfortable i just love them especially in the summertime where my feet get so swollen by the heat so nothing that i've mentioned in this particular wish list has to be something that i'm going to run out and buy straight away i'll probably buy one item every month or maybe every other month because I'm not in a rush to purchase these. I feel like the most expensive one that I mentioned is the Chanel sling bags and the Pollen Paris bag. So I wouldn't be able to buy all of this all at once. It's something that I'm going to kind of like take my time and see if it's something that I definitely want to add to my wardrobe. There's at least three items that I mentioned that I know for sure I'm going to get. For example, the cos trousers, my Birkenstocks Arizona, for sure I'm going to get those, but I'm not in a rush because spring is not here yet. It's gonna come in the next couple of months and knowing the UK weather, we'll probably only feel like we have spring by May or something like that. But we've reached the end of today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave me a comment below because I love interacting with you guys. Also give this video a good old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos from myself. Hit that bell notification. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one.